Hey guys, in this video we'll talk about CLS or Cumulative Layout Shift, one of the metrics of Core Web Vitals. Core Web Vitals are a subset of factors that will be a part of Google's Page Experience Score. These are used to measure overall user experience and will be an official Google ranking factor. So what is CLS? All Core Web Vitals metrics answer a particular question. For CLS, it's framed around the question, is it delightful? meaning are the interactions smooth and natural, free from shifts, and unexpected movements. CLS measures visual stability. In essence, the less shifty and the more visually stable the website is, the better. To provide a good user experience, pages should maintain a CLS of less than 0.1. Unexpected layout shifts are frustrating to users browsing your website. Visitors on your pages expect to be able to interact with elements on your site as they navigate it without those elements moving around, shifting the layout, and causing accidental clicks and an overall negative user experience. So what are the common factors that can cause poor CLS ratings? So first are images without dimensions, and also ads, embeds, and iframes without dimensions set. It can also be caused by dynamically injected content, along with web fonts causing flash of unstyled text and flash of invisible text, and also by animations. In order to help measure and optimize your website CLS, these tools are available for you to use. The first one is Page Speed Insights. This provides URL level user experience metrics, including information on whether a URL did or did not pass the Core Web Vitals assessment using data from the past 28 days. The CLS will be shown on the page. So next up is the Google Search Console Core Web Vitals report. Here you can see a breakdown of the report per device type mobile and desktop. By clicking on open report, the CLS summary will be shown. Clicking on the report will show more details, including the affected URLs. You may also use lab tools such as Lighthouse. You can access Lighthouse through Chrome DevTools by right-clicking on the web page and selecting inspect. Look for Lighthouse from the menu at the top. After selecting the categories and device settings, click Generate Report to start the audit. You'll then be able to see the cumulative layout shift for this particular web page under the performance results. Still in Chrome DevTools, you can also click on the Performance tab and click on Reload when prompted. You'd be able to see when a cumulative layout shift instance happened on this web page like this one here. And also this one here. And this one too. These can all be found in the experience row. More details can be accessed here after clicking on each occurrence. You'd also be able to see where each layout shift occurred as these elements will be highlighted on the page when you hover on each CLS occurrence. You may also run a performance check via web page test, which shows the CLS results under Web Vitals. You can also install the Web Vitals and Core Web Vitals Chrome extensions. Both extensions show the Web Vitals results for the web pages you visit. Here are some things you can do to fix common issues that contribute to poor CLS. Always include width and height size attributes on your images and video elements. Alternatively, reserve the required space with CSS aspect ratio boxes. This approach ensures that the browser can allocate the correct amount of space in the document while the image is loading. For ads and embeds, statically reserve space for the ad slot. In other words, style the element before the ad tag library loads. If placing ads in the content flow, ensure shifts are eliminated by reserving the slot size. These ads should not cause layout shifts if loaded off screen. Also be careful when placing non sticky ads near the top of the viewport. Next, avoid collapsing the reserved space if there is no ad returned when the ad slot is visible by showing a placeholder. Eliminate shifts by reserving the largest possible size for the ad slot. And lastly, you can choose the most likely size for the ad slot using historical data. For dynamic content, avoid inserting new content above existing ones, unless in response to a user interaction. This ensures that any layout shift that occur are expected.
If you need to show a top or bottom pop-up that might cause layout shifts such as GDPR notifications, newsletter sign-up invites, or offer relevant content, reserve sufficient space in the viewport for it in advance. For example, use a placeholder or skeleton UI so that when it loads, it does not cause content in the page to surprisingly shift around. For web fonts causing flash of unstyled texts and invisible text, visit these links at web.dev for more information and optimization tips. For animations, prefer transform animations to those that trigger layout changes. Animate transitions in a way that they provide context and continuity from state to state. To learn more about cumulative layout shift, go to web.dev slash CLS. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tip. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.